Hi everyone, this is Leika with Pierce Conservation District. Today we're talking about watersheds. Watersheds can be tricky to define, so let's keep it simple. If we crumple this paper up and unfold it, it looks like mountains and hills that we might see around us. Now, if we pour water over it, the water flows in different directions based on elevation and slope. A watershed is where all of the water comes down and meets at a certain point, like a lake or the ocean. Now let's take a look at the Puget Sound watershed. Here in Pierce County, there's a lot going on. We have homes, schools, industry, farmland, and the Puget Sound. We impact the environment in many different ways. We depend on farms for all of the food that we eat every day. Factories and industry produce items that we need in our daily lives. Many of us use cars, buses, or trains to get around. We also have wastewater treatment plants to treat the water that comes out of our homes. And we have beautiful mountains for recreation. All of these things make Western Washington a great place to live, and the Clean Water Act has stopped a lot of pollution from entering our waters. However, our everyday actions produce pollution. We'll use food coloring here to show pollutants in our city. Let's take a look at how stormwater forms. Many people use fertilizers and pesticides for their lawns and gardens. These are also used on farms. These excess nutrients and chemicals can cause problems later on. Some people like to wash their cars in the driveway, but this leaves all of the dirt, grime, oil, and soap until it rains again. Our waters also get polluted when we cut down too many trees and leave the soil bare, or when we don't pick up after our pets. Also, making new houses and roads can leave lots of loose sediments. You might see rainbow line puddles of oil from leaky cars. Sometimes people leave trash or litter on the ground. Now here is our polluted watershed. Let's see what happens when we get some rain. Our watershed gets about 40 inches of rain each year. The rain washes all of these pollutants into nearby streams and rivers, which then goes into the sound. While we use food coloring here and not real pollutants, sometimes our storm drains really look like this because stormwater doesn't get treated like wastewater does. Scientists have found that 75% of the pollution that enters Puget Sound is from stormwater runoff. So what can we do to fix it? For starters, we can reduce fertilizer use or use healthier alternatives. We can wash our car on the lawn or at a car wash. We can plant rain gardens to filter the water before it reaches the drain. And be sure to not dump anything in storm drains. Lastly, we can make sure our car has no oil leaks and clean up after our pets. Now that we know that our daily actions are producing 75% of the pollution, we can be a part of the solution. Thanks for watching.